What's the big idea? I don't know. The dog went berserk for no apparent reason. He's trained to do that. The idea is to deter any would-be intruder. Oh, I get it. Okay, I I'm sorry. That's okay. Just remember, he's a trained attack dog. A killer! Hi, good morning. Do you know what time it is? No, I don't wear a watch. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Well, you're too early. Ever heard of Condor Transglobal? Sure. They have a warehouse here. Well, could I take a look? Not until after the holidays. Come back in a month. I have to make a delivery to Condor Transglobal. Where's your rig? Uh, about half a mile down the road. And you walked here? Jeez, are you some kind of nut? Nah, it was easy. I just put one foot in front of the other. Are you gonna let me make my delivery? Not without the paperwork. You get the papers, you make your delivery, and I get a fat backhander. I was getting nowhere with the story about being a trucker. Do you know what kind of business Condor's involved in? I'm paid to guard the gate. Their business is none of mine. I gotta go now, but I'll be back. Can't wait. Ouch! That's hot. The bottle was just out of reach. Nothing was going to get me into that water if I could help it. The stick had a hook on one end. I figured it was a boat hook for hooking boats. I just knew that boat hook would be useful for something. As for the bottle, even if I couldn't find a use for it, I'd cleaned up the dock a little. Oh no, I'd learned my lesson. The bottle was half filled with water. Maybe it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. Now I could see into the pipe which formed the chimney. That chimney looked very exposed without its cone. Hmm. The bottle had blocked the chimney. The hut was filling up with smoke. The packet was full of dog biscuits. 
That mug was a health risk. I decided to leave it where it was. Baked beans in ketchup. Yow! Stove equals heat, heat equals burn, burn equals excruciating pain. I wouldn't have considered wearing it if it had been the last coat on earth. Here, boy, have a nice crunchy biscuit. Here, boy, have a nice crunchy biscuit. I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It soon passed. As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a... well, like a dog. The sign looked as if it was firmly attached to the wall. Anyway, I didn't really want it as a souvenir. was jammed shut. The metal housing prevented me from getting to the fan. I couldn't reach the blades of the fan, which was just as well. If I'd stuck my fingers in there, I'd never be able to play guitar again. That did the trick. The fan clunked and shorted out as its blades were mashed by the boat hook. Hey, you make any more noise, I break your arms. That bully needed to be taught a lesson. Garzak's already mad because we didn't get the stone. You give me any trouble, I'll tell him it was all your fault. Karzak? That must be his boss.
Who is it? Police, we want to talk to you about abduction, arson, and attempted murder. You got a warrant? Sure, I got a warrant. Open the door, I'll show you. You wait. That's got him scared and angry. boat hook was jammed in the dent the grill opened from the inside the grill opened from the inside. Hey, what now? My name is Stobart, George Stobart. What do you want? I want to return your spider. I pulled its legs off, which is exactly what I'm going to do to you. I got... The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. Among the paperwork which adorned the notice board was something which caught my eye. It was a delivery note from Condor Transglobal, and the address was Coromonte City. There was nothing else of any interest on the notice board. It was locked. The little brass key didn't fit the lock. All the crates were firmly sealed. I had a blowpipe. That confirmed my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. I waited for him to shoot me, but it didn't happen. Instead, he seemed to want to tell me something. Uh... What? What do you want? Uh, uh... He seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Hi. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Guaramonte! Is that where you're from? Coramonte City? Coramonte! Uh, Coramonte! Okay, okay. What have you done with my girlfriend? Huh? 
I am not leaving without her. Where is she? He didn't appear to understand me. This was the dart you used to knock out my girlfriend. If she's come to any harm, I will count you personally responsible. What does this key unlock? Huh? Hey, you're manacled. Who did this? That big thug? I'm gonna set you free, okay? Hey, come back here! The little guy had gone to ground amongst the stack of crates. I couldn't pry the doors apart with my bare hands. There was usually an easier way to do it. just in time. Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? There. That would keep the doors from closing. I was wrestling with the small crate when I noticed the label on its side. Danger. Live contents do not drop. No chance. Whatever those crates contained, they were heavy. The crate was labeled, Danger. Live contents do not drop. There were small holes in the top and sides and scratchy noises coming from inside. I didn't want to risk dropping the crate and releasing its live contents. There wasn't enough room to move the handle. No chance. Whatever those crates contained, they were... The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. A sturdy beam was jammed across the doors. These doors were not going to open. There was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. Just as I'd hoped, a secret room Nico! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
hold still. This might hurt a little. Ow! Think yourself lucky you don't have a mustache. Thank God it's you, Georges. How did you find me? I'll explain later. We have to get out of here. Where's Pablo, the big guy? Out cold. Too much wine doesn't agree with him. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. Untie me this instant. There. How are you feeling? Oh, thanks, Georges. How on earth did you find me? I knew Oubier had been in Marseille. But never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? I picked it up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Kazakh's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Mou. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubier, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubier. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Nico, wait! We can't use the elevator. If that thug Pablo is recovered, he'll be waiting for us. We've got to do something. Where does that door lead to? I'm not sure. There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. rope wasn't long enough to reach the pulley. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. about six inches off the floor, and I said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. It was too heavy for me to move on my own.
Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If you say so, dear. Okay, push! Great teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. Nico, I have a great idea. Josh, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but uh... Don't argue, André. Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. George, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for George, I wouldn't be here now. That's not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. The best lead that we have is Coromonte City. Coromonte? It's in Central America. That's where Ubier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. Coromonte, the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. Well, that's how it was translated in the brochure. We didn't know what we were looking for. But the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. Hey, it's market day. I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Cuaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Trans Global. Thank you. 